Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes from the 8th to the 9th. But keep in mind that the timing is fluid. So, you know, at any time, these daily vibes can resonate. They're really timeless, okay? So I'm using the Vice Versa deck today, and I have cut the deck because there's stuff on both sides, and I've cut it to the High Priestess. Um, so that tells me that a lot of us are going within, using silence as our tool to evolve. There's a lot of uh, messages that are coming to us um, through silence, okay? I feel like a lot of us are working on ourselves, uh, developing our spiritual path, maybe going down a different path, um, just going within, okay? You may be going through a period where you just want to be alone right now because you're receiving so many messages, so many intuitive messages. Um, you may be being sought after uh, because of your higher wisdom. All right. Um, it is a time of, of solitude for many because of all the planetary aspects, all of the emotions that are on the table. It's a time of becoming who we truly are with that high priestess. And silence is the key to wisdom. So, what do we got for today? Silence is the key to higher intuitive wisdom. Okay. It looks to me as though, I mean, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Magician. If you look at this Ace of Cups, like somebody has come to the, is coming to the rescue. I mean, somebody's coming to the rescue. Somebody's in the background coming to the rescue. Maybe somebody is deciding that, you know, it's time to work together. I want some togetherness. I'm ready for a partnership. There is some sort of, this. I mean, this is an offer. This is an offer. It may be a little offer. It may be a little, a little, a step. It may just be a step. A step towards a union. Maybe somebody has been planning their next step and perhaps now they're, they're coming. They're in sight. They see what they want. I mean, this right here, this is a, this is a union where two people really mirror each other quite perfectly. Um, I feel like uh, if you think, I mean, the first three cards are at night. So I think somebody has received some sort of epiphany at night about where their wish fulfillment lies. You see the star? You know, nighttime is when we are typically the most silent. And you think about that High Priestess card. That's when we get our messages typically when we are silent. So I think at nighttime, somebody may have received some sort of intuitive guidance or message, even from above, right? About what is the right thing to do? What is the right direction? What steps they need to take to... to uh, 
get what they want, you know, with the magician card. Uh, this is about taking action to bring success. I feel like, and if you see the Ace of Cups is right here, it's like somebody has decided that, you know, in order for me to be successful and get the wish fulfillment that I want, I'm going to have to take action. So I feel like we have somebody here that is being intuitively guided typically at night to take action perhaps to shed their old ways and maybe even prove themselves. Somebody is definitely coming in. They're on the outskirts or they're really, really, really close with this Eight of Cups. I eight, did I say Eight of Cups? I meant to say Ace of Cups. Um, It looks as though somebody's prayers, you know, this Ace of Cups, the woman in there, it's like she's not even, she can't even see him. She's looking up. She's like praying. She's praying. She's, she's praying for this rescue. She's praying for somebody to arrive. And it's like her, her prayers are being answered. That's a star up there. That's wish fulfillment. Now, the page of pentacles is somebody who acts with integrity and finds the moral backbone to take steps in a practical direction, okay? So it, it really feels like somebody, somebody could be coming in with could that could be this is an apology. This could be an apology or this could be a brand new offer. So somebody could be coming in with an apology. Maybe they've been waiting for the right time. They see that this woman is growing weary. Um, I think this woman, this woman, whether it's a man or a woman, somebody is growing weary. And it's like now they, they want to prove themselves after maybe they've turned their back in the past. And now they're looking at the love that they had. It's like, and if you look, there's darkness, and then we have sunrise over here. So it's like, maybe maybe they have some dream, or they have, like I said, some sort of epiphany, you know, in the morning. You know, I gotta go get this love. I gotta go get this love. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know where it is. I see it. And it's time to take action. This is definitely about a partnership. It's being divinely guided. Two people are being divinely guided to come together. It's a perfect match. It really is. These people mirror each other with ease. It's a true love connection. Somebody may need to make some compromises. And maybe they realize that now. I think that somebody realizes that true love isn't always glamorous. It's not always fun. It's about teamwork. It's about working together. And it feels to me like somebody is, is absolutely coming in perhaps after they turned their back in the past. There's that wish. Remember I said that's a star? Now we get the star card right underneath it. That's funny. Wish fulfillment. They've been guided. They have been, somebody has been divine, like I said, somebody's been divinely guided from above or from a spirit or somebody that's passed or something. Somebody has been divinely guided as to where their wish fulfillment lies. 
where their love is. And it looks like, I mean, this is, this is the Knight of Wands. It's like taking action. And it's happened at night. <laughs> it's happened at night. Something, something has come to be, you know, through that time of silence, you know, that quiet time. I think we have a new beginning in love here. And it is something that somebody has been praying for. Um, oh my goodness. Lover's card. Oh, it's a golden opportunity. It's a big, it's something you can take to the bank. It's something that can lead to something solid. Perhaps somebody sees that they have a big opportunity that they can grab onto at any time, but in order for them to get this solid, stable, long-term opportunity, they're going to have to take action. Now, you think about ones, one, one, one. One, one, one is about manifestation. This is a card of manifestation. This is a card of manifestation. Somebody has manifested a new beginning. And it's like they've called in their soulmate. And it's like, here we have an arrival. Something is arriving. It is absolutely a soulmate connection. It is a perfect match. Being brought to you from above. There is divine guidance here. There is absolutely no doubt about it. There is divine guidance here. Um, some, but two people are being brought together from above. It's the, somebody is getting their prayers answered. Uh, it looks like there's forward movement and there's no looking back. This person is on the way and they're ready to leave the road behind them behind. It's like, I'm ready to leave the past behind. So somebody is coming. They want to work together. They want to prove themselves. They now appreciate you know, the stability and the security that they had and they want to, they want to take it. They want it. They want it back. They want to, you know, they want a new opportunity. Now I was talking about the ones, one, 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 instant manifestation, um, a spiritual awakening, a wake up call. Something is happening very fast. Somebody has got, gotten some epiphany. They've gotten some sort of wake up call about where their love lies. That's what's going on. And I feel like now there's going to be a choice. Somebody is making, I mean, this is a card of choice. The lover's card is a card of choice. It's a card of, you know, making a decision. This person may not be your usual type, but like I said, they're perfect for you. And I think somebody has come to that conclusion that this is, this is perfect. This is, this is perfect. And it's, these two people are definitely being brought together from an angel or a spirit or something like that. It looks to me like there's there's some sort of solid, stable offer coming in. Some sort of communication that could lead to something really, really abundant. Okay? Um... Somebody has decided that it's time to leave the past behind. It's time to let everything go. You know, there's a new opportunity for love here. There is. With somebody that you did not expect Maybe you didn't expect this to ever turn around or you didn't expect this person to ever arrive, but they're coming. It's unexpected is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, there's, there's an unexpected arrival of love. That's what we got here. And this person definitely doesn't resemble what you pictured as 
being your perfect match, but it's so easy. It's so easy with this person. You know this person, you're familiar with this person. There's an opportunity to heal. This is healing, this is healing. Together. There's a lot of togetherness here. I feel like there's two people coming together in love, no doubt, no doubt. Somebody has manifested, they have, this is, these are both, somebody has manifested, somebody has manifested um, a new opportunity. That's all there is to it. That, that is the truth. So now there's, now there's, there's actual movement. There's actual movement. And if you notice this chariot card, it's like the road behind him is disintegrating. It's falling away. There's no looking back. It's we're moving forward. Not backwards. So I really feel like today is a day of perhaps somebody coming forward with an offer or an apology or something because they have realized a soulmate connection of some sort. There's a soulmate connection here. There is. <laughs> I mean, there is. I mean, everybody, everybody knows it, okay? There's a soulmate connection here. And it's, and it's kind of like, it's unexpected. It's unexpected. You know, it's unexpected that this person is, is arriving because she's just like, she's grown comfortable. Somebody, this Ace of Cups, like this woman, whoever this person is, has grown comfortable. You know, she's naked. She's comfortable with herself. She's she's free she's um at ease with who she is and she's gotten to the point where she loves herself and she doesn't care what who what anybody else thinks she's been waiting patiently day in and day out for this arrival and now somebody's right here And it's like this person is in awe of this person's love, you know, the, the, the love that they transmit. This person is in awe. So I really feel like somebody is going to be showing up. It's unexpected. This person may be very different from you. Very, very, very different. But it really is a soulmate connection. It's a perfect, perfect, perfect match. And, and these two people are being brought together from above. They are. They are. Looks like we have a true love connection here that is coming together. After perhaps somebody turned their back to go within. You know, you think about that high priestess to harness their inner power. They use silence as their tool to figure out who, what, when, where, who they are. Their time of silence and going within has served them well. And it looks like somebody is ready. Somebody has manifested... 
a new opportunity for love. That's what we got here. We have, a, we have two people coming together that are absolutely positively meant to be. Somebody may have heard a message through their dreams or through their solitude or through their meditation or whatever. You know, somebody has heard a message from above, okay? Could have been somebody that's passed away. Could be an angel. Could be a spirit. Look at that. Look what just flew out. I think you guys can all see it. New love. Now, this can this can be a new, because of this right here, this can be a new start in love with somebody that has turned their back on you in the past. Or this can be somebody brand new. Brand, this can be somebody brand new. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You have to think positive. We have a love connection here that... I'm rubbing my heart. Oh, God. That is meant to be. It is meant to be. You got to think positive. Think positive. Leave the past behind. To have victory in success, you can't keep looking back. You can't hold on to the animosities. There's an opportunity to save something, perhaps even. This is something you can save. Some of you may be, or somebody may be realizing that they want to save something. One more card. Either way, this leads to something very solid, stable, and long-term. You deserve love. You are lovable. You do deserve it. And at the bottom of this deck, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I don't think this person is going to reject you. Because it's about love. This person, somebody has been waiting for an arrival, and the arrival is, is like right in front of you. So yeah, I feel like there's two people coming together. They are, they may be a little bit different. They are, or are a lot different. But it's those differences that help each other grow. So I feel like today we have somebody that is actually moving in. And I don't mean maybe, I mean, I don't know. They're moving in to make some sort of offer or communicate because there is communication here. You could run into this person, you know, on the road. You could run into this person at the bank. Um, whatever this is, this is this is a wish being granted. It is with that star card and that star over that two. This, there's a wish being granted. I don't know who this reading is for. It will not resonate with every single person. But somebody has manifested a new opportunity, and here it is. Good luck. I hope this reading is for you.